हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क तो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑटोमेटिंग इंट्यून रिपोर्ट्स थ्रू एजर ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग सिस्टम असाइन मैनेज आइडेंटिटी इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग माई कंटेंट you are likely aware that i have previously shared videos demonstrating how to trigger intune reports using task scheduler many of you have asked about accomplishing the same task using azure automation with managed identity so in this video i will guide you through a step by step process of configuring azure automation to automate intune reporting using system assign manage identity to implement this we need the following things first we have to create a automation account second we have to add the manage identity permission third we have to add the required module to azure automation fourth we have to create a runbook and test script fifth we have to publish the script and and sixth we have to create a schedule within the azure automation and all the script used in this demo have already been uploaded to github and you can find the github link in the description section now let's see how to implement this currently i am on the azure portal utilizing the global administrator account to set up the azure automation account in many organizations intune administrator may not possess the necessary permission to create an azure automation account in that case you have to work with your azure ki directory team now let's see how we can do this so the very first step is to create the azure automation account and to do this we have to search for automation account and then we have to click on that and as you can see that i don't have any account created so far so i am going to create one account but before that i just want to show you one thing that when we are checking the enterprise application and within the enterprise application under the application type we have to select the manage identity and click on apply we can see that as of now i have only one manage identity when we are going to create an azure automation account it is automatically going to create another manage identity so let me create this we have to find the azure automation account click on that and then we have to click on create automation account here we have to provide the resource group i am going to create a new resource group and call it as intune reporting automation resource group click on okay and then we have to provide the name of the azure automation account so i am going to provide the name called intune reporting automation and in reason we have to provide the reason so i am going to select the central india but you can select as per your location and reason then click on and then we have to ensure that the under manage identity system assigned should be marked as tick and i will create another video where i am going to show you how to create an azure automation using user assign for now i am okay with system assign and then click on next then i am okay with the networking then click on next then click on next and create now it's going to create a azure automation account and we can see that the deployment is in progress and now we can see that the deployment is completed and we can click on go to resource and we can see that the azure automation account is now created successfully and we can see we have the process automation where we can create the run book jobs hybrid worker groups and under the account setting we can see the manage identity option i am going to click on this manage identity 
and we can see that system manage identity status is set to on and we can also assign some azure role assignment but for now i am not going to do this and we can also use the user assign manage identity i will create another video where i am going to show you how to use this user assign manage identity for now we'll stick on the system assign manage identity now the first step is done in which we created the intune reporting azure automation account now if we go to the enterprise application again and if we click on the application type as manage identity and click apply now we can see that the we have another manage identity already created called intune reporting automation now the next step is to provide the permission to the managed identity account in my case i am going to use intune reporting automation account as a managed identity account so i am going to click on the intune reporting automation it's an enterprise application and if we go and check the permission under the security tab we can see that the there is no api permission assigned to this intune reporting automation application so currently there is no inbuilt ui available to provide the required api permission to this application in that case what we have to do we have to use the powershell script and we have to add the permission under this admin consent so to do this i am going to open the powershell isc as an administrator and we have to run a script so i have already downloaded the script from the github and saved under the download folder and the link is already provided in the description section so the very first script we have to do is to select the manage identity add permission this script is going to add the required permission in this manage identity application so what we have to do we have to just replace the name of your manage identity application in my case this is the name of your my manage identity application i am going to just replace it with this and i am going to select this all and going to run this script now it's going to download the required module and going to install it and then it's going to add the required permission And now we have to provide the global administrator account and the password. And now we can see that it's saying that connected to Microsoft Graph. Now we can see that the script executed successfully and we can check that whether the permission is assigned to that application or not. So to do this, we have to again go to the Azure portal and under the permission tab, now we can see that the required permissions are assigned to this enterprise application. So I have added some extra read only permission to this application so that I can test some other things. But based on your requirement, you can add and remove the required permissions. So the second step is also completed where we added the required permission to this manage identity application now the third step is to add the required module to the azure automation account so to do this we have to again go to the azure automation account and within that account we have to go to the shared resources and under shared resources we have to click on the modules here we can find all the default available modules as well as we can add our custom modules so right now in my automation script i am using two modules the very first one is az module and the second one is the ms graph module 
so we have to ensure that the az module and ms graph module is already there in this automation account so to check this we have to just find the az module and we can see that we have the az module already available so we need to check whether the microsoft graph authenticator module is present or not if not then we have to add this as you can see that the microsoft graph authentication module is not present in this in this so we have to add this so to add a module we have to click on the add a module and then we have two option to upload a module either we can browse for the file or we can browse from gallery so i'm going to click on browse from gallery and then in the powershell module file we have to click on the click here to browse from gallery and here we have to search for that module and we can see that we have that module and now we have to select this module and then we have to provide the runtime version so i'm going to click on 5.1 and then import let me refresh this and now we can see that microsoft graph authentication module is in the importing state let me wait for some time to so that its status is showing as available now we can see that the microsoft graph authentication module is also showing as available and now the third step is also completed where we added the required module in the azure automation account now the fourth step is to create a runbook and test the script so to do this we have to go to the process automation section and under this we have a runbook option click on that runbook option and we have to create a new runbook so i'm going to click on create a new runbook here we have to provide the name of so i'm going to provide windows autopilot deployment reporting and the runbook type is powershell and the runbook version is 5.1 and in the description section also i'm going to provide the windows autopilot deployment reporting and then click on create now the runbook is created and we have to provide the script so that we can execute it and test it so i'm going to copy the script which i want to execute and then paste it here and then we have to save the script and then we have to test it now to test this script we have to click on start and now we can see that the script executed successfully and we are getting all the autopilot deployment status reporting like the deployment status failure or success and other things now the fourth step is to create a runbook and test the script is also completed now the fifth step is to publish this script so that we can execute this on a schedule basis so to do this we have to again go back to the previous screen then we have to click on the edit option edit in portal and we have an option called publish this script i am going to click on publish and yes and now the script is published and we can see that the status is also showing as published now the sixth step is to create a schedule task so to do this we have to click on the schedule under the resources and then add a schedule and then we have to link a schedule to your runbook add a new schedule and then we have to provide the schedule name and the description and the start time so i'm just randomly picking any time but based on your choice you can select the start time and the time zone i am going to pick the india time zone and then the recurrence frequency once or recurring so i'm going to click on recurring and then recur every day per hour or a day or week or month so i'm going to select every day you can also set the expiration period and then click create and then click on ok and now we can see that the runbook is also created so that's all i want to show you how we can create an azure automation account 
to automate in tune reporting using system assign manage identity in upcoming video i will show you how to use the user assign manage identity and i'm also going to show you in the upcoming video that how we can publish the reports in teams channel and how we can configure the reporting to get the email notification so that's all for this video if you have any question on concern please let me know in the comment section and i will do my best to address your queries i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video